Easy work. I ain't got to worry, but what up, Fight World? It's your boy, Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Now, first of all, shout out to Fight Hype. They have an exclusive with Floyd, Money Mayweather. The link is in the description, so you can check out their full audio for that, and they put it in a video form. So shout out to them. Check them out. Subscribe to them. And they did an interview with Floyd Mayweather. Very brief, very simple. Floyd Mayweather says, I already told Gennady Golovkin what he can do if he wants to fight me. He says, call out Andre SOG Ward, beat him, and then we can fight. And he says, I haven't heard him call out Andre Ward. So that's where it sits. Then he goes on to say, if he does come out of retirement for a 50th fight, the only one he's really looking at is a 50th fight with Danny Garcia because he's undefeated, he's young, and he has that green strap, basically. So I want to give some quick thoughts on it. Hey, Floyd's paid his dues, and that's one of the perks to earning your stripes and paying your dues everybody else not everybody else but guys like Golovkin they're still trying to carve their initials in the history books they're still trying to work on their paths Floyd Mayweather technically doesn't really even have to come back for a 50th fight unless he wants to try to set history so it is what it is he's been the A side for a while he's called the shots for a while and the funniest thing is I'm hearing people say oh Floyd versus Danny Garcia it's a cherry pick based on the styles but you got to keep in mind, first of all, Floyd Mayweather is nearly 40 years old, 38, 39 years old. So name one other champion with the resume, like a Floyd Mayweather, that is taking on young, strong champions that are undefeated. Now, Gennady Golovkin, for example, since he mentioned Golovkin, he's fighting an undefeated fighter in Dominic Wade. So my question to the fans is this. That's his mandatory, so if you want to use that, that's fine. He's, he's taking care of a mandatory because everyone's avoiding him. But who has a better current resume going into a fight? And this Floyd Mayweather, Danny Garcia is not a done deal. It's not signed or anything like that. But at present day, who has a better resume? Danny Garcia, the person that's been in there with Kendall Holt, person that flattened Amir Khan when Amir Khan was winning the fight for the first two rounds, gave him a lot of different looks and had him in trouble, was cutting up his face guy that in Danny Garcia that has stepped foot in the ring stepped foot in there and that I give people credit for at least signing on the dotted line and stepping foot in there I thought Herrera beat him I'm, I'm not biased I don't have to lie I thought Herrera controlled him with the jab it was a, a fun fight and then I thought the Lamont Peterson I thought Lamont Peterson started a little bit late but Danny Garcia didn't look good in that fight right so whatever but those are controversial fights people call him Danny Giff Garcia and bring up Rod Salka but even with or without those he still stepped foot in the ring with those people right and he didn't get knocked out or knocked down I don't think he's even been knocked down as a pro maybe Nate Campbell I don't I don't remember I don't remember if he's been knocked down but he, he's never lost that's the point now you look at Dominic Wade where's his name of Matisse type of win he has or an Amir Khan comeback win that he has with that level name like Amir Khan. Amir Khan right now is in a super fight with Canelo Alvarez, right? And ever since the Danny Garcia lost, Amir Khan hasn't lost. So it just shows you the caliber. So the whole scream and cherry pick, there's a lot of hate for Mayweather, like you've seen in that Andre Ward clip that I posted at the beginning. A lot of hate for Mayweather and they won't give him anybody he fights is a cherry pick, right? And Ego Veli will do a separate video talking about some of this Heyman stuff, but if Mayweather beats Pacquiao, the guy that was supposed to knock him out and beat him for the last five years, he beats him and has a quote-unquote right off into the sunset, let me complete my contract type of fight with Andre Berto. Oh, that's bullshit, and Mayweather's such a high level, he shouldn't be facing a guy like Berto, even though Berto was coming off a stoppage win over Josito Lopez, whatever. Then Berto's fighting Victor Ortiz, a guy who's already beat him, and he's avenging that loss, and the people are complaining about that. So which one is it? Berto's fighting somebody who is about the same spot of their career in terms of they have some blemishes on their record, a guy that has a win over him, a guy that gave us a fight of the year, those two when they matched the first time, there's some bad blood, and people still complain. So it, it just goes to show me that it's not even really about the selection of Berto because Berto is a two-time champion. It's about the fact that a lot of these people just don't like Mayweather, so there's going to be an intense scrutiny. Again, Gennady Golovkin, he's fighting a mandatory, but name Dominique Wade's Matisse-level win, like Danny Garcia has. Name Dominique Wade's Amir Khan-level name. Even, even guys that some people are going to argue he lost to, right? Like Lamont Peterson or Mauricio Herrera. Name the people that are that caliber at that time when um, Dom Dominique Wade has fought him. You know what I'm saying? So I think the whole cherry pick thing is overstated. 
I clearly, based on the style, I think Mayweather would handle Danny Garcia and, and definitely win that fight. But again, I would pick him to beat really anyone at 147. So it's just Mayweather's Mayweather. I think he has a he's just a complete package, solid defense. He knows how to neutralize people's weapons, pot shot you, and you know what I mean? It is what it is. So it's not even just Danny Garcia. But the fact of the matter is, Danny Garcia has never been stopped or anything like that. He's still a champion. So it is what it is. He's been in there with Robert Guerrero, Pauli Malinaji. He's been in there with those. And I thought he actually looked good versus... I didn't think he looked that great versus Malinaji. But I definitely thought he looked good versus Robert Guerrero. Like guys that come forward, come at him, he, he does pretty well. And the, whether you like it or not, he's still undefeated. Just like Canelo has one loss. In my opinion, he should have at least two losses. And that other loss would be Edison Lada. But as his record sit, he only lost to Floyd Mayweather. So it is what it is. So Mayweather said his piece. Check out the full interview. He says if Gennady Golovkin wants him, hey, guys, if he wants him, he could call out Andre Ward. And I definitely don't think that's going to happen. Some people are going to say, oh, but Ward, he moved to 175. He did that because he, you notice he, he tried to make a fight with, with him. And Team Triple G requested a catchweight, something that they despise when it comes to Canelo. They don't want to drop down for Canelo. They only want, like, see, you got to look at the facts. Canelo is, we all can pretty much consider him to be a big, just bigger than Mayweather, at least. You know what I mean? That's why he's fighting a pound over, 155. And you look at his mass versus a Floyd Mayweather. So Triple G was willing to come down for Floyd Mayweather, the, clearly the smaller mass-wise between him and Canelo. But he despises a catch rate when it comes to Andre Ward. He was willing to go up to the full 168 for Chavez Jr., who has no amateur experience, discipline problems, weight problems. He was willing to go up for him or Carl Frotch, a guy that Andre Ward beat, but he's not willing to fight him at the full 168. So Andre Ward said, you know what? I'm not going to stall out my career. He obviously don't want to fight. And he moved up. Now he's fighting on HBO this weekend against Sullivan Barrera, a rated light heavyweight, who's actually the mandatory for Sergey Kovalev and he's a puncher and he's undefeated so again when you put it all out on the table it is what it is and Gennady Golovkin whether with or without Canelo with or without Floyd Mayweather he still needs those big names to pr like prove his worth Andre Ward whether you it, it see this is the other thing and I'm, I'm gonna get out of here after this a lot of people say oh this person Edis Lani Lada can't sell so I don't want to see Canelo fight him the Charlo brothers can't sell so I don't want to see Canelo fight him Andre Ward don't sell, so I don't want to see Triple G fight him. But if these guys are as big of stars as they're portrayed to be by HBO or the promoter or whatever, then they should be able to compensate for the quote-unquote lack of star power in their opposition, right? And we've seen it. Gennady Golovkin versus Willie Monroe sold out. Dominic Wade, no, nobody really knows Dominic Wade like that, and it's selling good tickets. So you mean to tell me if... An undefeated Olympic gold medalist like Andre Ward, who has million plus cable views for several fights, people wouldn't tune into that, but they're going to tune into Willie Monroe and do a million plus cable views, but they won't do that for Andre Ward, two undefeated fighters. So I don't, I don't understand that logic that people try to throw out. Oh, why should Gennady Golovkin, he's the A-side, why should he fight Andre Ward? Because that will give him and his A-sideness, that will give him the boost his career needs at age 33 to catapult him to the next level. You could keep fighting Adamas, guys like Rosado or Shida moving up from 54 to 160, their first fights. But those aren't those wins aren't going to give you, they're not going to give you the type of recognition you'll get from beating Olympic gold medalists. Look at Terrence Crawford, another gold medalist that he defeated was Uriorkis Gamboa, an undefeated gold medalist. And look what his career has done ever since then. He fought Ray Beltran, then he moved up and wait. And people know who he is. Now top rank is saying Terrence Crawford's next fight is a pay-per-view fight, right? And it might be versus Victor Postal. I'll do a separate video on that. So stop with the arguing and the lies about, oh, this fight doesn't make sense. Because one, again, if your person that you're saying is an A-side is such an A-side, then they should be able to carry the, the slack of the other person's star power. Mayweather didn't even go on promotional tour with Robert Guerrero. He sent Robert Guerrero to do it all by himself, and that, that still did over a certain amount of numbers. I, I don't know off the top of my head. That's why I said that. But he carried the, the torch. Robert Guerrero wasn't just a household name. He was an interim champion, right? So we'll see. We'll see if Triple G... 
decides to fight Andre Ward. Andre Ward first has to get past Sullivan Barrera. You guys let me know. Do you think that'll happen? Will Triple G fight a guy like Andre Ward to get to Mayweather? That's back-to-back -back paydays. So you beat Ward, your star power goes up, your recognition goes up, and then you get a Floyd Mayweather fight. And if he tries to backdoor it, like let's say you beat Ward, then it'll make Floyd look bad. Like, hey, you said to fight hype that if I defeat Andre Ward, then I get you. So if you do that, then you'll be able to at least put him in the position to call his bluff. But we'll see what happens. Share the video, like the video, let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like my video as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video's Ego, signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.